Hey, tell me if you agree with this. I got to be honest. And you guys can call me names. You can call me out of touch. You can call me crazy. All right, get ready, Froggy. <laughs> but these are the top five sitcoms of all time. Okay, so do oh, we no. agree with these? This is going to be bad. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you right now it's going to suck. This is a study finds compilation. All right, I'll tell you right now they had the jam I Love Lucy on there somewhere, and that is so false. All right, listen to this. Top five sitcoms of all time. And what they did was they sifted through all kinds of uh, what they claimed were credible review sites, and they did an aggregation. And they came up with the top five best sitcoms of all time. I'm going to start at number five. Number five is Parks and Recreation. Oh, I love that show. See? That is one of my favorites. Ding, ding, right there. That's, that, my wife forced me to watch it, and I actually think it's hilarious. It, it's amazing. And you know what? Anytime I'm going through, like, tragedy in my life, I watch that nightly. Oh, wait a minute. How much tragedy do you go through my in your God. life? Two times that I've had some tragic what, things what, happen. Doug lose a leg in a, in a wood chipper? What, no. What, what, yes. uh, oh, let me put on porch. Yeah. Doug, yep. Doug has a fake leg on the left side. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. It's a funny Jeez. show. Uh, you know, I've heard Parks and Recreation is funny, but... I've had, for whatever reason, I've had very little exposure to Parks and Recreation. That's you the one just, with the two radio guys. So, yeah, exactly. Other than Froggy bringing in the clip of the radio guys, uh -huh. I've never yeah. seen you, 10 yeah. seconds of Parks You've got to watch it. You want to be friends with all of them. Like You, know you want to work with them. And, and that's uh, uh, Amy Poehler, right? Yes, Amy Poehler. Rob Lowe, he's hilarious in yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I recognize... Chris the, Pratt. Yeah, I recognize uh. the, the actors' faces, but I'm kind of in the same boat as Fester. I don't think I've ever seen... An entire episode of Parks and Recreation. I've walked in and like Julian and Chloe are watching an episode, and I'll catch a couple of things here or there, and I think I've laughed. But I've had, for whatever reason, I've had very little exposure to Parks and Recreation. Seven seasons. That comes in at number five as uh, the fifth uh, best sitcom of all time. Little Sebastian, Froggy, have you met Little Sebastian yet? I don't think so. Okay, well, uh, I won't ruin it. Number four is Friends. Damn it. That's I, obvious. I, I yeah, it's got to be on the list. It so is. I, I get why it's on the list, but you know what? I it's pretty funny. I never really cared for Friends. Okay. That's because Seinfeld's on before it. Yeah, you know, it's real comedy. I, but I I caught Friends. Be, well, Friends was on, then Seinfeld was after Friends. Well, whatever. Yeah. You know what's so, so funny is when I was living in California, I didn't have any friends out there, and I just watched Friends every oh, day, and I and, felt like I had friends. Oh, and Monica and Phoebe, <laughs> they, they were like your girlfriends. Yes, totally. Oh, you know what? And I, would you like pour yourself a cup of coffee and pretend you were sitting with them at, at Central Perk? I totally did. Oh, yeah. During COVID, I got into a little friends rut where I might have watched you know, like, like four or five episodes yeah. in a row, and it was a good show. Can I point out that if I never see a Friends episode again, I'm fine with that? Really, Facts. so I don't, I don't disagree. I don't disagree with, or I'm sorry, I don't agree with number four on the list. As so. far as standing the test of time of comedy, it, it doesn't have a ton of laughs. It's more just a vibe. All right, now this might be controversial. Number three, dinosaurs. No, that one. <laughs> no, with the uh, full house. <laughs> number three on the list of top five sitcoms of all time. Cheers. I I Damn hated it. Cheers. I don't know. What, I like Cheers. I, I, but it cheers. wasn't like oh. gut wrench funny. No, I just I never liked mm -hmm. Cheers. I was like, oh god, why can't there be something else on? Yeah. I I never liked Cheers. I'm I'll sorry. Take it or leave it. So that's number. You didn't like Fraser Crane. That's number three on the list. Now, the top two, I totally agree with. Coming in at number two. Well, this is two easy. two. It's the office okay so oh, these yeah. are all relatively oh, yeah. like from the 80s yeah. and on you know you're not getting any of the classic stuff like uh all you the know, family sanford and son all in the family is just you if you turn on some of the retro networks that run all in the family man that's, uh, that's shut up, meathead have you ever seen the sammy davis jr episode holy crap <laughs> there's a few episodes oh, that make you God. feel awkward yeah oh no, yeah listen me. i love yeah. them <laughs> but uh, all in the family was was absolutely genius yeah but yeah these are all newer type well listen you know cheers goes back to the 80s obviously how did cheers get in the mix of this uh, i don't know but yeah good. okay let's let's bump cheers out of the list and let's insert our own show and i would insert arrested yeah. development Never saw that. No, all right, it's you know really what? good. I have to. That's on my list to, to watch from Amazing the beginning. Cast. Yeah, I know. Uh, so the office comes in at number two. Of course, that's the U.S. version uh, adopted from the U.K. version. And then I think we can all guess what the number one 
greatest sitcom of all time is. And Cavemen. I, and I agree. Fam I, I, family I, Matters. I totally agree. <laughs> Remember Cavemen? Nope. 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 But you said that num already. Number one, <laughs> what's happening? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Was it, 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 Dwayne Wayne? Yeah. Hey, Wayne, hey, hey, no, 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 I'm kidding. Shirley, uh, the waitress. Uh, number and then one. Shirley had her own show. Right, yeah. Can I? Can I reel number? And then one? what's happening now? Of All course. Right. Uh, number one is Seinfeld, and I, I fully no. agree with that. So the top two, The Office and Seinfeld, I agree. But you know. But that's more the modern stuff. Mm -hmm. There are classics like I Love Lucy, classics like All in the Family. Say by the Bell. It's, yeah. it's kind right. of interesting, though. You say it's the modern stuff, but what's what's the age on the youngest of those shows? We're going a decade back, right? Can you name, now that Young Sheldon is wrapped up. <laughs> young I Sheldon. love that show. Yeah, Young I Sheldon, know. it's not a I, bad show. That show's I great. I've I never like saw that. Four episodes. But now Big that Bang young, Theory's good, too. Now that Young Sheldon, Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, now that they have ended, can you name any sitcom on any channel? I cannot. Me neither. I can't, I can't name one sitcom on any. I watch no network TV. Uh, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox. I watch. I watch nothing in prime time. Nothing. Zero. I watch midget shows yeah. on TLC. <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah. Seven Little Johnstons. Right.